Hello friends. In this lesson we are going to learn how do we compare the rate of interest between different banks when we are borrowing money. Which bank is good for the loan? We'll take our same example which we have taken in our last lessons. Sukram would like to take a loan of 10,000 rupees from banks and he approached multiple banks. He approached two banks, bank one and bank two. One of them said, we are fine, we are going to give you a loan at 10% for one year. And other bank said, we are going to give you a loan with a rate of interest as 12% for one year. One bank is giving a rate of interest for 10% per year on a per annum basis. Another bank is saying 12%. Which one should you choose when you are taking a loan? Let's try to find out what how much interest we are going to pay. Let's say if we take a loan from bank 1 for a principal of 10,000 rupees with a rate which this bank is offering is 10% per annum. Per annum means on for one year the bank is going to charge 10% as a rate of interest. 10% means for every 100 rupees 10 rupees will be charged as the interest. Time for the loan for Sukram is one year. That's what he wants. So simple interest formula as we have learned is PRT by 100. Replace it by principal 10,000 rate as 10 percent time as 1 divided by 100. Two zeros get cut. We got 1000 rupees as the simple interest which is the amount to repay by Sukram would be principal 10,000 plus interest we calculated 1000. So total of 11,000 rupees Sukram has to pay to bank if he takes a loan from bank 1 which is offering at 10% per annum. Let's do the same thing for bank 2 which is offering 12% per annum. Time for loan remains same, principal remains the same, rate of interest changes because that is what that bank is charging. Let's find out simple interest in this case 10,000 into 12 into 1 PRT by 100. Two zeros get cut you're left with 1200 is the simple interest which this bank to is charging so amount to repay would be principal plus interest which is 10,000 plus 1200 rupees which is 11,200 rupees in case of bank one the interest was coming out to be 1000 rupees so Sukram has to pay 11,000 rupees here for same 10,000 rupees he has to pay 11,200 rupees now you tell me which one you are going to choose. Of course, when you are taking loan, you are going to choose a bank which is offering you a better rate, a lower rate of interest. So that you have to repay lesser. You pay the extra money lesser. So he will select bank 1 and not bank 2. Here he is getting at a lower rate of interest for the loan. So he has to only repay 1000 rupees extra. Here he has to repay 1200 rupees extra. Both the banks are giving you same things. Why to give 200 rupees extra? Right children? So it is better to take when you are taking loan, when you are borrowing money, look at the rate of interest very carefully. But a very big word of caution children. Rate of interest charged is per annum or something else. This is something which you should be very cautious about. Sometimes money lenders deceit you with lower rate of interest, but then you are not paying attention there. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? I told lower rate of interest is good for loan, right? But remember, there are something else. Say Supram in this case approached bank and a person. This is a money lender with nice suit and tie. Bank 1 and a lender 2. Bank says, I am going to give you a loan at 10% per annum basis. This person says, I am going to give you a loan at 2% per month. He said per month in a very silently or in a very small line he wrote. And you said, oh, I learned that thing in maths. If you are taking loan, le lesser rate of interest is good. 10% and 2%. So this is good. I should go for lender too, right? But remember children, this per annum and per month, what about that? Is it having a value or not? Let's try to find out. Same way if you took the loan from bank 1, 
we calculated earlier so i'm going to go faster 10000 10 percent 10 per annum that is at end of one year 10 percent is extra you need to pay so it, if you replace it by 10,000 into 10 into 1 by 100 it comes out to be 1,000 rupees so amount to repay will be principal original value or initial value is 10,000 plus 1,000 extra 11,000 is what Sukram needs to pay when he takes a loan from bank 1 at 10 percent per annum but that lender was giving a very attractive option 2 percent but he said per month you didn't pay attention to per month not per annum per month the rate of interest is 2% per month not per annum what does that mean every month he is going to charge me 2% so on a year basis a year has 12 months he is actually charging me 2 into 12 which is 24% per year not 10% not 2% 24% per year time for loan remains the same he just told you 2% per month. You didn't pay attention to per month or he didn't tell you. Don't assume it's going to be per annum always. 2% per month. And in a month there are 12 months. So 2 into 12 becomes 24%. And if you calculate simple interest by putting P, R and T, you are going to get 10,000 into 24 because it's for year. You have, to, you have taken loan for one year, not for one month. 20,000 into 24 into 1 by 100 comes out to be 2400 rupees not 1000 which bank 1 was offering me so amount to repay becomes 10,000 plus 2400 which is 12,400 rupees so it looked very attractive 2% but the important thing is it was not 2% per annum it was 2% per month so here, because of that, you need to pay very high value of 12,400 rupees at the end of the year. Whereas in bank one case, you have to pay only 11,000 rupees. So which one you should choose? Not just go by phase 2% or 10%, the lesser value. Is it, are you comparing apples to apples or oranges to oranges? Are the terms same? 10% per annum, 2% per month. So here Sukram has to pay 11,000 rupees back, only 1,000 extra for the 10,000 loan. Here Sukram has to pay 2,400 rupees extra. So which one Sukram will choose? First option only, not this option. So whenever you are comparing, please ensure you look for lower rate of interest for the same term when you are taking a loan so that you pay the extra money is what you are paying as interest when you are taking loan. So try to reduce it. Take loan with lower rate of interest but same terms. Don't just look at numbers. Is it per per annum? Are you comparing per annum with per annum? Right? So the in simple interest formula is simple PRT by 100 but pay attention to rate of interest. Is it per annum basis or per month or something else? That's all in this lesson children. Bye bye.